Hello, I'm Professor Xianghua Xie, and I'm head of the Computer Science Department at Swansea University. Now, our department is located on a beautiful beachfront campus in the city of Swansea. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to visit Swansea yet, I would very much encourage you to do so. And Swansea is in surrounding these very beautiful places and certainly worth spending some time. So Swansea Computer Science was founded in the year 1967 by Professor David Cooper. That is within three years after the first academic department of computer science was formed in the UK. Professor Cooper was a pioneer in theoretical analysis of programming. He came from Carnegie Mellon University, which is already one of the outstanding computer science departments in the United States of America. So our department has roots reaching from the very beginning of the subject area in the UK academia. And if you are interested in the history of computer science at Swansea and the UK, well, I would recommend you to read Swansea University's centenary essay entitled The Computer Revolution and Us by our esteemed colleague, Professor John Tucker. As you can imagine, our department today is very different to what it was like half a century ago. Now the department is home to nearly 60 academic staff. We are located in this state-of-art computational foundry with purpose-built computer science facilities and over 30 million investment complete in 2018. However, it has always been our ambition to create a rich, diverse, stimulating environment that enables and inspires excellence. The department is highly regarded for both teaching and research. For example, worldwide, we are among the top 150 computer science departments according to 2023 Times Higher Education World University Rankings. In our most recent research excellence framework assessment, 90% of our research output were considered world-leading or international excellent, and all our research impact cases were considered as world-leading or international excellent. This is a strong reflection of the fact that as a department, we are dedicated to embedding real-world impacts in everything we do. Now, in terms of research activities, the department has five research groups in total. The three longest traditions are theoretical computer science, visual computing, including data science, and human-computer interaction. And the two relatively recent additions are cybersecurity and artificial intelligence. Theoretical computer science is the foundation of computer science. Its advancement is critical to the future health of this discipline. It uses mathematical and logical methods to understand the nature of computation and to solve problems that are fundamentally arising from practical use of computer systems. One of the best known scientists in this field is, of course, Alan Turing, considered by many the founding figure of theoretical computer science. His theoretical work made a long-lasting impact on modern computer science. The Swansea Theory Group is internationally renowned for its research in logic and computer science. Now, take satisfiability solving as an example. It has become a disruptive technology in hardware industry. A recent success story for our theory group was the solution of the Boolean Pythagorean triples problem, which produced the largest proof ever using intelligent cube and conquer strategies. The research in visual computing and data science group spans across computer graphics, computer vision, visual analytics, data visualization, data mining, and optimization. In this area, we are working on science and technology, generating images and sequence of images, understanding the content of images, generating effective visual representations from complex data, processing medical scans and images, and so on. However, it is not just visual data that we are interested in. The methods we have developed to understand the visual data are not only useful, for instance, in autonomous vehicle navigations, but also can be applied to detect and recognize complex patterns in all sorts of data. For example, in our recent research works is to identify and quantify dementia risk factors from over 50,000 possible indicators. So technologies developed in this field have many useful real-world applications, including providing new ways of interacting with computers. So this brings to the third research group I would like to mention. This is our human-computer interaction. This group has grown to become internationally recognized for its speciality in human-centered approach to computing. Our focus is to create platforms, devices, and services that are not just functional, but are usable, efficient, and enjoyable. Our research involves a significant number of collaborations with other disciplines within the university and beyond. And we have long-standing partnerships with many industry leaders. So these are three pillars that have established our research reputation nationally and internationally. By cross-cutting across these research groups, 
and expanding our research portfolio and academic staff members, we have been able to expand and grow organically into other research areas. As a result, we recently established the cybersecurity and artificial intelligence uh, to additional res independent research groups. In cybersecurity, Swansea scientists are making important contributions, for example, in promoting digital economy and protecting security and privacy of personal data, in ensuring system integrity, on fighting cyber terrorism, cyber crime. Often by working with colleagues from different areas, we achieve better research outcome. And this is the case when our cybersecurity experts work with theoreticians and collaborate with industry leaders in addressing safety and reliability issues of modern railway signaling system. It is, in fact, one of the highlight impact cases. Artificial Intelligence Group is our latest addition. However, we have been working in this area for many years. Our research now covers a wider spectrum, including symbolic AI, machine learning and deeper neural networks, explainable AI, interpretable AI, and natural language processing. One of the interesting projects currently ongoing is on brain fingerprints and to use advanced sensing technology to capture neurophysiological data that can be associated with visual stimuli. With advanced AI technology, it is possible to reveal what we see by analyzing our brain activity. Success in this can lead to a wide range of applications, including healthcare. Now, AI is one of the areas that has captured a lot of attention and a lot of public imagination. There's a real concern, however, on how the advancement of artificial intelligence can be compatible with, support, and enhance human endeavor. Our department is home to a center for doctoral training that's specifically focused on this issue. I would recommend listening to our Professor Matt Jones podcast available on the departmental website, elaborating these kind of challenges in this digital age and joining the debates on how we can best develop, utilize, and regulate AI research. The department also has long-standing major projects engaging with business, education, and civic society. For example, our Techno Campus Unit and Institute of Coding are the driving forces for educational reforms in computing in Wales. So computer science and its application have permeated virtually all areas of modern society. The role that computer science plays and its relationship with our society are constantly evolving. It is important that we advance our subject areas both productively and responsibly. It is crucial that we succeed in training our next generation computer scientists. We take teaching and education very seriously. So we are an ambitious department. We are also a diverse and inclusive community with shared purpose and values. We would wholeheartedly welcome you, whether you are a student, a new member staff, or simply a visitor. So welcome to Swansea and welcome to Computer Science.